today I'm going to be giving a film review for Miss, I think you call it, uh, Miss Peregrine's, no I think it's Miss Peregrine, yeah Peregrine, that's right, <laughs> Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now this is directed by Tim Burton and it is an adaptation of like a, a novel of the same name which is written by a, a Ransom Riggs because I think it's the start of like a, like a series, like a, like a trilogy or something like that because I know another book followed it, you know. And then there's also like a third book in the works, which is written by Ransom Riggs. But this particular film version of the Miss um, uh, Peregrine's uh, Peculiar Home for Children is directed by Tim Burton. So that's what kind of like piqued my interest in wanting to see the film. Because like the trailers and stuff, uh, I didn't, you know, it, it, didn't, it didn't look too too interesting. But it did have some like exciting looking scenes in it. So, you know, I just I decided to give it, you know, like a shot, you know, because I'm a fan of like Tim Burton films, so I just decided to get us a shot. Now the stars in this film are like you have Asa, I think it's Asa or Asa Butterfield, who plays the role of Jacob, and he is actually the protagonist of the film, you know. And like the film, it kind of revolves around his character, you know, like uh, having like I think like uh, I think it was his grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. It was either his grand, yeah, his grandfather, you know. At the beginning of the film, I don't want to spoil it, you know, like his grandfather like like dies, like and they leave behind all these like clues that that lead Jacob to to realize that there's like some kind of like, mystical like place, you know, out there in existence, you know, because at first it seems kind of like, far fetched. That's where it kind of has like flaws in it too, from my opinion, you know. Now you also have like Eva Green, she's in the film too as well, you know. Then you also have uh, Terrence uh, Stamp, he's in it, Samuel L. Jackson, you know. Uh, Rupert Effer, those are like the actors and like actresses that are in the film too. Oh yeah, and Judy Dent, she makes an appearance too as well, you know. Now her, her role is not too large in the film, but she does show up in the film, you know, at, at certain times, you know. But yeah, Asa Butterfield, like his character Jake, you know, like I say, he finds like these clues from like his father that lead him to like this, uh, this hidden place, you know, which is known as uh, Miss, uh, Peregrine, Peregrine is like school for peculiar children. It is known as that, but once he finds this place, it turns out that it is like a mystical, like supernatural place with like, you know, like, like the students and stuff of the place, you know, they have like special abilities and stuff, things that they can do. And most of them are like, like deformed or something, <laughs> something is wrong with, even like horrific at certain points, you know, cause like some of them, like, like this one girl, you know, like she has like a mouth on the back of her head, like this, this boy, he can, I think like spit like these like bees or something out of his mouth, you know, and then like another one, you know, like you have like the, the two ones that's dressed up in like these like suits, you know, these like clothes, like mummies almost, you know, like they dressed up like ghosts, I think. They can actually like freeze you and turn you into stone with their eyes, you know. And then you have like like the main person, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, Eva Green, the one that she plays. Yeah, Eva Green herself is actually Miss Peregrine. Peregrine, I mean, she's actually she's plays that role, you know, herself, you know. Now she can actually turn into a bird, and she's actually able to like manipulate time, you know. And that was one of the big things of the film. She can actually cause like these like different like time things where she can actually repeat the time and repeat incidents and stuff. Now I thought that was kind of interesting but at the same time it was like, it was, like confusing you know it's like, uh, like what was going on you know but now there, there's also like these like time loop things like these that Jacob goes through like what Jake goes through you know at times throughout the film and that's a good, that, that's when you can tell that he's actually entering like that world of the uh, the peculiar home for children but then he goes back into like, the real world, which is our world. You know, it's, it's kind of like confusing. I thought those scenes like, were kind of interesting too. Now, at times, you know, that's what the film was about. Him finding this place, you know, and this leads to clues to what was going on with his grandfather. You know, like his grandfather's like history. And it turns out like there's like this evil threat, you know. And it, which he was called like the Baron. He's played by Samuel L. Jackson. And I thought, he, I thought his performance was like creepy and scary, you know. So it turns out that the Baron wants to like do this and that, you know, like the typical like villain thing, you know, where they want to take over and stuff like that, you know. But uh, I, I, I thought, I thought, I thought this was like okay, you know. I didn't, I didn't really like it too much, you know. And I, I didn't really, you know, what I'm saying I really wanted to see it because it's like a Tim Burton film, you know. But uh, I thought like the uh, the certain moments they had, and like especially like, this underwater sequence that they had with like uh, Asa Butterfield as Jake and like the, uh, I forget the girl name. She's actually one of like the peculiar children. She's actually she can blow like breath out of her mouth. They actually go under the water and take this like this ship that's under under the water. And I thought that scene was awesome. Like the visual effects of them being under the water. And she like blowing out bubbles and stuff. Cause she even blew like a bubble to like ask a butterfly so he can like breathe. You know, like it's like breathe under the water. Like his head had to be in this bubble. I thought that, I thought that scene right there was like awesome. You know. And, and then plus it was like later on in the film they actually had to return to like actually bring the ship up but I don't want to spoil it you know but the film it did have like some terrifying moments like these creature things that I think that the Baron who plays by Samuel Jackson he created 
those creatures were actually like very terrifying. They're just scary and creepy, you know. So I was kind of, you know, I was kind of, the film at, point, at, at times could seem like it could have been rated R, you know, if, you, if you're not careful, you know, because it's just like a lot of violence in it, you know, it's like very, like, like bloody and stuff like that, you know. So I was kind of surprised, you know. But, uh, and then I thought this was okay, like, the, some of the visuals for the film, like I said, the, the, some of the action sequences were tense and, like, scary, like, the animals were creepy, and, you know, like, like, made you, like, jump and stuff, you know. But then I thought this film was just, like, okay, I didn't really, like, I didn't really enjoy it too much, you know. I, and I didn't really have, like, high expectations for it, you know, and I, and I believe they might actually continue these. I'm not too sure if Tim Burton's going to direct them because it's actually, like, a series of books that this film is, like, based on, you know. You have the first one, uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and there's a second one called Hollow City, and there's also a third one on the way, too, as well. So they actually made, made, made these, like, a film series, you know. But then I'll be giving up Miss Peregrine's uh, Home for Peculiar Children. I'm aiming at just giving this a C, and I kind of want to give it a C-. minus. I'm aiming at giving this film a C, you know, I recommend it for like fans or I guess like uh, if you're a fan of the books, you know, because I never read the books, you know, I guess or, or if you're just like a Tim Burton fan because it has like that dark, gloomy look like his film is high, you know, which I'm a fan of, I think it's awesome, you know, so I recommend it for that, that genre, you know, those, those people, those kind of fans, you know, so yeah, in the end I'm giving up Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Church and I'm giving this a C and that's my review.